What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about Clamps Badge. I received lots of comments about this topic ever since, so I think it's about time to do it. So after watching, please let me know in the comment section any recommendation for a topic. I'll see what I can do. So now let's get right into it. So I think at this point, we all know how it works. It just helps us to get more cutoffs as a defender. So I won't focus much on the definition. I'll focus more on finding the sweet spot. And by the way, I advise to watch the video fully. Don't just jump to the stat part because if you do, you'll end up wondering what those numbers mean. It's not going to be that long anyway. So now for the test, I'll be using the method that I used with Rebound Chaser Badge, RNG, and lots of other stuff. So if you watch those videos, you probably have an idea how it goes. So basically, I need to find the threshold on perimeter defense stat where it starts to make the cutoff animation. And after lots of tweaking, I found out that at 52 and above, it will be a cutoff, and 51 and under, it'll be a blow-by. That's going to be all the time, because if you watch my other videos about RNG, I concluded there that RNG is really low. So if it's a cutoff on a specific rating, then it will always be a cutoff. And keep in mind as well, that's not always the threshold. Of course, it varies on lots of other stats of each player. It doesn't mean that 52 and 51 is the magic number on all builds. This only applies on this specific setup on my test. So basically, starting from 52, I'll lower the perimeter defense stat one by one, and let's see how much help can each clamps badge upgrades can give you. I know it might sound confusing now, but for sure you'll get it later. So first, I equipped bronze and I tried to lower the perimeter defense stat at 51, and LeBron was able to make a cutoff. But then when I put it to 50, now John Morant can blow by. So it means that bronze clamps badge is like giving you plus one perimeter defense in terms of cutoffs. And just want to make it clear, I can't guarantee that it's a physical plus one. What I'm trying to say here is that the boost is something like a plus one on perimeter defense. So now for the next one, I tried to put silver at 50 and LeBron was able to cut off, lowered it to 49 and LeBron still can do it. But the moment I dropped it to 48, now jaw can do a blow by. So it means silver is like putting plus three on your perimeter defense stat in terms of getting cutoffs. Now for the next one, I tried gold with 48 and there was a cutoff. But then when I dropped it to 47, now Jaw was able to blow by. So it means gold is only plus 4. Then at 47, I tried Hall of Fame and it worked. I dropped it to 46 and still worked. But at 45, now Jaw can make the blow by. So it means Hall of Fame is like adding plus 6 on your perimeter defense stat. And to give you a better picture on the flow of the boost, here's the chart representation of everything. You can see there the sweet spots are silver and Hall of Fame. And again, I'm not saying that's a real physical plus 6. What I'm trying to say here is that the boost of Hall of Fame is pretty much like what a plus 6 can do. It's something like that. And by the way, it took me a while to get these stats, so would be really awesome if you can show love by liking the video, and of course by subscribing to tune in for more. So that's all for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.